Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's Pastor Lorraine again. Uh, today, I want us to focus on giving. Giving is something special. When God gave us Jesus Christ, it was a price to us. Why have I chosen this topic to talk about giving? The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son, so that whoever may believe in him, instead for him to be perished, he will have everlasting life. My brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you that be a giver. For you to be a giver, I'm telling you there's a reward on that. The Bible indicates that in giving, there is a giving is a principle. And when you give, you receive something in return. The Bible shows that when, after, when Jesus Christ was given to us, we receive life in abundance. Like for example, you are a Christian. You are having your local church where you are attending church every Sunday. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, if you go to church every Sunday empty-handed, you are not doing yourself a, a, anything good. Because you know that nowadays, whatever that you are doing, it involves money. I'm not referring to me as a woman of God because I'm preaching to you that you must give money to me. But I'm referring to the local church that you're attending church to. There is electricity there. There is microphones there. There is drums. All the instruments that they're using on a Sunday basis, it involves money. Those things need to be serviced. Let me tell you, women of God, children of God, once you give to the kingdom of God, you're going to get reward. Giving is a secret. Giving is a secret that will open your ways. It will open your doors. It's like, for example, I can show it by a tab of a water. When you take a container and you want water from the container, once you, 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 you open the tab, automatically water will come out from the tab. But once you close the tab with your own hands, no water that will run into your container. So it's like giving. When you give, you're opening up the table of the blessings. So I just want to encourage you, children of God, for this 2022, learn to give. And giving is not giving until you feel the pain inside. Give until you feel the pain inside. If you give somebody something and you don't feel anything, it means you didn't give. Maybe you are just taking some, you are offloading some clothes that maybe is full in, inside your wardrobe or maybe inside your house or maybe you want to shift a furniture because you bought something new. But giving, you give some, sometimes when you give, you give and you're left with nothing. Be a giver. Like in the Bible, there's that woman, a widow. That woman, her husband passed on. She was left with with the just a jar of oil with her son. The Bible says when the man of God, Elia, come in, into her house, he said to her, give me something to eat. She said, I only have small food to eat for me and my son. After that, we die. But the Bible says, the, the, the man of God said, give it, it unto me so that I eat. After that, I will bless you. The Bible says, after eating those food, the man of God prophesied in her life and he spoke blessings in her life let me tell you men and women of god and children of god give something that you have give the best of, out of what you have you'll see miracle i want to encourage you children of god as we are starting a year afresh now when you go to church go with something go with a seed that ministry that church of yours maybe it might not be having windows you can give it you can buy windows alone. And when you give, you don't have to go and tell somebody and go for, and ask for someone's opinion. Someone might not have an eye that you are having. Some can discourage you and tell you, don't do that. It's not going to be in this church. If you do that for that man of God, or that one he cannot appreciate. Do whatever that God is telling you to do inside. Plant a seed. For someone, I'm telling you, maybe your neighbor, they're, 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 they're sleeping hungry stomach. You can see that they're suffering. Maybe their parents are not working. You can give them something. Buy them meal meal. Buy them whatever. A school uniform. Now the school, schools are reopening. Some of the parents, they don't know what to, to do to their kids. 
to their children. If maybe a child was using the same uniform that the, 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 the child is, will be using, take that old uniform, just iron it, wash it, and give it to them. It's another giving. I'm telling God is going to bless you with that. Men and women of God and children of God, I want to encourage you, be a giver. Let this year start, start this year afresh. Start with a new energy. Be a giver. Open up your heart. Give something. You cannot be giving money. Your ideas. Give your ideas to someone. Maybe someone is struggling to start some up to start up something. Give them ideas. It can work for them. Something maybe that cannot benefit you but benefit someone. With doing that, God is going to bless you another way around. You know what? Sometimes we people are blocking our blessings because of selfishness. You think that maybe if I assist that one with my idea, she can going to steal my idea. Give that idea to somebody. God will make you to meet another person with another blessings for you. Make it a point that you give something to the house of the Lord. If you see that maybe there is not enough chairs in church, buy your, 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 your church uh, chairs for people to sit. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, be a giver. Be like that woman. Another widow in the Bible. The Bible says, after her husband, her husband passed on, she was left with, her, with death. When the man of God uh, came to her house, she said, I'm, not, I'm left with nothing else because my husband passed on and is saving a death. But the man of God asked, what is it that you are having? She said, it's only jar of oil. The Bible says, the man of God said, put, go and borrow some jars of oil so that you, the, the oil, I can put on some oils. The Bible says that the rain of the oil just came into those jars until she was running short of the jars. I'm telling you, God is going to bless you until you run short of the containers in your life. Be a giver. You'll see that something good is coming. Is, it, will, it will be coming your way. Be a giver. Let God Almighty assist you. Let God Almighty change your heart. Be a, have a, a giving heart. You must have an a, 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 a eye to see something that others cannot see. And when you have to give something, don't go, I repeat it again, don't go and look and or hear for someone's opinion. Because your eye cannot be someone's eye. Your opinion cannot be someone's opinion. Be a giver. By so doing, I'm telling you, God is going to bless you. Be a giver. Someone will, will say, woman of God, I know I want to be a giver, but I don't, I don't know what is it that I must give. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters. Be a giver by being a worshiper in church. Be an intercessor. You are giving your heart to God. You are benefiting the church by so doing. Be a singer. Be a cleaner. Do something in the house of God. It's not money alone, but you can do whatever. Be a Sunday school teacher. Give your time, yourself time with the children so that you teach them the word of God. You'll be giving by so doing. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, you're going to be you're going to benefit heaven by so doing. And God, God is, is going to be happy about that. Do something that will shake heaven. Do something that will unlock your miracle. Do something that will unlock your blessings. This is your year. Grab it. Pray God Almighty to give you that strength and energy to be a giver in the house of the Lord. I want to pray for someone. Someone might be saying, woman of God, pray for me. I want to be a giver, but I don't know where to start. Let God Almighty open your mind, spiritual mind. Let it be opened in the name of Jesus. Let God Almighty give you an eye to see the loophole that is there in your church, in your local church, to give something to the men of God, to do something to the fellow Christian, to do something to the children of God. Be, have an impact so that your life must not be the same again. Whatever that you failed to do in 2020, 2021 backward, this year let it be your year in the name of Jesus. I love you. Let God Almighty bless you. See you next time. I love you. Bye.